Hello guys and welcome to episode 23 of my Corellia campaign in Still Division 2, playing on the Soviet side. Previously we managed to capture this crossroads and we also managed to break up towards this T-junction. And now we're just going to continue to try and encircle as many forces as possible before ending the campaign. I do need to break through on this bottom side, so we're going to have to attack the 3rd Battalion of the 19th Brigade, but I don't think we're in range. We'll just have to kind of shift our way up towards that. Then I can probably attack the 1st Battalion, actually, of the 19th Brigade. That might be a good idea. Yeah, we could probably break through there, although they do have a lot of troops and fortifications. Up here... We're just going to keep these guys dug in. I can probably keep these ones dug in as well for the time being. I'm actually going to move one of these down. We're going to spread these out a little bit. I'm going to dig that one in. We'll keep that one there for reinforcements. Okay. These two in the meantime can start heading up and round. And we've got these two here ready to mop up these troops once they get disorganized. Okay. So the only attack that I'm thinking we might do at the moment is down here. Let's just continue to check the front line. Definitely need to continue to move up my AA and my artillery here. This unit can catch up. Push that one through for this objective. Cool. Most of our right flank is moved. I can probably move these ones around. Start heading up this road. But we're going to need to probably put a unit there regardless to defend. I don't know if they can move across. I don't think they can. But we'll keep one there regardless. Um, let's move up with an AT... Regiment, that's fine. Probably move up with the artillery as well. Keep most of this artillery where it is though, including the Andalusias and the 64th Guards Rifle Divisions, because these can both defend in phase A if the 40 se 462nd and the 260th get attacked. We'll have those to back us up, then plus one artillery piece, because the AA is a bit of a problem, so we can't bring in our own air force at the moment here. I would like go out my way to possibly attack and destroy their AA battalions, but it seems like a, a lot of work for no real reason when we can just wait and they'll become disorganized eventually. Right, these troops, I'm going to keep moving them around and we'll keep them at a distance so that they're not in range to be attacked. Uh, I might just move this one back like so. The Light Artillery Regiment here, I'm probably just going to keep these where they are in case either of them get attacked. I'm going to move this one round here as well. Okay. Right, this AA doesn't actually need to be here, that can start moving up. This should not be in range to be attacked. So they can keep uh, carrying on. Okay, so yeah, the other attack was down here, wasn't it? But we're going to wait for the bombers in the next turn in order to do something here. So all of these are moved. Just double check in. It might be better if I just turn off the strength modifier so I can see only the action points is a lot clearer to see. Just press Alt, by the way, if you want to do that in your own campaign. Uh, yeah, it looks like most of it is done. Uh, all of these were already moved as well. Uh, this AA can continue up. Cool. Yeah, so I think we might leave this attack. I might just attack this one next turn. And we'll move on to the next turn ourselves. Let's go. Right, they moved some unit onto the road there. That's not good. They are trying to keep up with my troops that are pushing the front line away from them. But I don't think it's really going to work out too well.
We really are trying to escape. <laughs> Amazing. Especially on this top left side. You can see them all trying to catch up with my troops. <laughs> We're going to have to make sure we don't mess up the front line, otherwise they're going to escape. Ooh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. I got a big old attack coming in here onto a fortified unit. Give me a breakthrough defense. Bring in artillery. And I'll bring in this anti tank regiment. Then we'll have the full amount in phase A. Okay. And that's tactical battle. Well, they're bringing in an aircraft. I should have probably considered that. Let's jump on in. I think it'll be okay. If they focus on the bunkers, then it'll be no problem at all. Previously, when the AI has used aircraft, it actually hasn't mattered all that much. But it's going to take me a little while to get down the reinforcements. Or not reinforcements, the fortifications. So please bear with me while I do that, and I'll be back with you in just a second. My defenses are all set up. All right, let's go through them. So on the left-hand side, uh, we just have our Maxims ready to jump into these buildings. And we've also got a sniper there on the left-hand side to spot things out in the open for my AT gun that's pointing straight down the road. We are facing mostly infantry, so they're just going to be transports heading our way, and we can smash those with the AT guns as they come. I've got a PTR with debunker there as well. I've got the Strauchy Comrati set up to give the Strauchy DP two-star veterancy because we have a commander here which is giving extra veterancy to the Maxim and the Bunker Maxim. And then we've got uh, some more Maxims, PTR debunker at close range just to snipe transports as they come down the hill. And we've got another Strauchy DP, Maxims to engage from a distance with another Strauchy Comrati. We've got basically across the whole front line a big old command structure going on. Strauchy in more trenches there. Bunker 45 shooting all the way down the road and across the bridge. Uh, we've got uh, Starkey to basically stay in the light cover in case they try and come across the river. Got a bunch here to shoot down this road, another 45 mil that's covering both this and this road. Uh, on the right hand side, we've got loads of Maxims across the top here with Starkey Comrati in the uh, trench there. Starkey DP on the front side. Then on the right hand side I've got a bunch of Strauchy DP ready to move forwards to the edge of this heavy forest in case they decide to come through from the edge of the map. Uh, otherwise we've just got the AT bunker up on the top here with a PTRD covering the road at the bottom and then Strauchy and the Strauchy Comrati. That's a commander on the right hand side with Strauchy Comrati to provide the two-star energy. Also got a couple of mortar batteries set up at the back. Let's launch the battle, see how things go. Basically what should happen here, because these two star veterancy uh, AT bunkers are ready to go, uh, we should just be able to snipe any transports that come towards us very quickly indeed. There we go, one down. Hopefully we can take out the second there. Yep, job done. It would have been nice to give this 45 mil also some veterancy, but it is what it is. Bombers are going to start trying to take out our bunkers, which is fine. Over time they will break those down, but not much I can do about that. Water fire already coming down. Uh, it might be worth actually putting these on to counter battery. Actually, never mind. They can't use counter battery. <laughs> oh no, the fog wolves already. <laughs> it's already targeting my mortar. Okay, uh, I am going to bring in just more and more mortars, I think. We're definitely going to set up uh, my own big old mortar battery if we can. Actually, I, I guess I'm just going to have to use artillery. Yeah, we'll have to use a standard artillery to do it. Alright, let's, uh, let's just bring in a few of these. And we can set these on counter battery instead. Although it looks like the mortars are going to fire at the 152 anyway, so that's nice. Because those artillery pieces, they will slowly but surely kill off our bunkers. At least we have eyes on that one on the left-hand side. That sniper's doing a great job. 
I do have a sniper on the right hand side. We've got a sniper here as well. So we can see plenty of stuff coming towards us. We've also got a sniper there. Ride recon down this road. Alright, can we hit that artillery piece? 120mm mortars, they're not fantastic at counter battery because they do have a lot of dispersion, but if they do hit, they do a lot of damage. Like so. <laughs> Demonstration there. A PTRD bunker. I don't mind if the bunkers go down, honestly. It's the units I worry about. Or the units I care about. I always... I didn't point this out, actually. I set up a double line of barbed wire across here because I don't want them just running through the middle of my defences. So this will kind of funnel them to the right-hand side, at least. Looks like they are going to start building up some troops to come through these Thraki, so I might want to reinforce those. I'm just going to move that back to the edge and we're going to put it on fire at will again. Okay, let's bring up some more infantry. I'm going to bring up some Kanayas and we'll bring in the Raoki just to back up that right hand side. Is that going to try and rocket a different one? Uh, yep, it looks like it. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to move all of them by looks things. Are these ready to go? We'll just uh, give them manual orders, I think, for counter battery. It'd be a lot quicker. I can just queue up the orders then, whenever I see things firing. I'm going to bring in probably some more Maxims, because it looks like they're engaging the PTRD bunker with their machine guns. We'll just bring in a bunch of Maxims that can keep hitting them from a distance. We keep on top of the counter battery, the aircraft won't really do too much in the long run. We do have uh, 25 minutes left on this battle. I might start speeding it up at some point if we start to get the better of them. In phase B and C they won't be getting any extra reinforcements since they have all of their forces from the start, so that's something at least. Oh, that might die. Oh, not yet. Oh, there we go. Taking out one of their artillery pieces. Good. Make these control groups. There we go. Alright, where did my... Oh, okay. Counter battery came in and just landed smack bang on my supply. I guess that's one thing that we might lack throughout is supply. Especially if we are using this many artillery pieces. One thing that might be worth doing is uh, moving up the Strauki on the right. To have all these unload like on the edge here and then maybe we can keep eyes on all of the artillery. And the PTRD finally died. I'm also going to get, I think, some Maxims, if I can, to come here. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. More than I expected. We'll just have them fall back. That's fine. Okay, nice. We're catching them on the edge, in the open, which is which is good. Uh, 
I was going for the rocket strike onto my artillery again. <laughs> All right. Let's have the Straki move up to the edge as well. I mean, these are being rel left relatively untouched, which is nice. By like bombing strikes and artillery, at least. I'll put them on counter battery for now. Can always direct fire them if I want to. Alright, that's good. Having the Kanada of Vitka there is actually very important for spotting the units with high stealth. That might try and creep up on us. Now I can probably take back these two objectives and push it back to like total victory, which will maybe speed things up a bit. So I'm going to bring in a bunch of infantry with a Straki Komrati. And we'll just absolutely clear out this top side. We'll leave a bunch of Avtos in there. Okay, good. So the counter battery order is working. I'm going to bring in a bunch of snipers, I think. Just to help clean up these units. Did we spot them? Oh, the way 120 there was already moving. Yeah, when it comes down to these, we'll just give them shift unload commands so that when they get to their position, they automatically unload. Whereas the ones in the trucks, I'm probably going to spread them out as we head towards the Kivari. Okay, probably going to want to back off there. Going to bring in a couple Thralki on this side. Look at all of these troops. This is so many. Crazy. Those mortars are going to be invaluable though. Throughout the game. They're already doing a fantastic job of keeping them pinned near their spawn. But if we can get some units up onto this hill, I could actually start bringing in Exist 3s from the anti-tank regiment. We can start lining them up on the edge to start shooting all of the spawns. I guess these might do some damage to us though. I'm going to be a little bit wary of that. Alright, a lot of these Thraki are already here. That moving up. First wave is go. Okay, second wave <laughs> is go. Alright, we go. I love the way they got to crawl through the barbed wire we placed. <laughs> Look at him go. I'm charging up the hill. Looks like we already took a bombing strike. Oh, never mind. It's just a double attack on Poya. I might have to arty those, honestly. I'm going to do quite a lot of damage. I guess I actually, one thing I could do is smoke this off. Unless we get in range. Oh, 
I wasted its smoke in the wrong direction. Was that artillery coming down there as well? <laughs> oh my. Alright, since these guys are going to be closer, they'll probably do more damage now. We can clean those up nice and easy. Let's have this Thraki move to the edge here. Oh, there goes my Maxim. Okay, good. Right, let's push these across. Make sure they get that total defeat. And then we start bringing up this threes. Well, those this threes, I guess I don't really have that much ammunition. It might not be worth doing. Nice rocket strike, though. Make sure this Throki Comrade stays alive, that's the main thing. Uh, let's just bring in more and more artillery. Because at the moment, we're stacking up on a lot of points. And I need to make sure that they are doing counter battery. There are a lot of artillery pieces firing away now. <laughs> and these are all being direct fired. If we can get some Avtos in there, that would be good. Cool. Yeah, we're never going to be able to really push straight onto the spawn. I don't think just because of the amount of artillery guns that they do have and therefore like my infantry running across the open will probably just get annihilated. Take out that AT gun though. If we get enough mortars in, maybe we could make it work. We do have lots and lots of 82 mil mortars. I could deploy further up. Yeah, we'll bring in all of those mortars. Don't have much supply for them, but we'll work with what we got. And if I can unload them all, put them all on fire at well, then we'll absolutely decimate anything that they try and attack. We'll just have so many. Just going to spread these out. Any Straki that are low on health need to probably just move back. Okay. This one will just have move back and stop firing. Now that it's on low health. Okay. Well, we're actually going to smash that unit over on the left hand side there. Wow. Okay, we'll bring in another supply here. Good that we captured this hill back, I think. Just so that we do definitely make them have a total defeat. One, one of my 120s got counter battery there. Unfortunate. I 
pull the most on fire well now. Okay, awesome. Look at that command net across the front. That looks really cool. Well, whatever was there is uh, definitely dead now. some supply trucks in for all of these. That's all of my supply trucks. There we go. <laughs> I'm just slowly but surely killing off my Stalky DP there. Uh, let's just have them run back and we'll replace them. I might move forward with my sniper. And we can maybe see what's going on. I, actually, I guess I could move these avtos to the edge. That might work. They're not going to reveal themselves because they can't fire any weapons at that range. The Kanai's ended up getting killed. Uh, I didn't think they would die. Oh well. Okay, so our counter battery is working well. It's only one minute now until defeat. I think I'll just start speeding things up a bit more. <laughs> Look at all that artillery coming through. It's crazy. That 152 getting mortared to death for sure. Oh, we did lose another one of our own 120s. That's it, that's victory. Total victory. Very, very good. All right. So 98 kills, 14 losses. Two 121 mortars died. The rest I don't really care about too much. The 120 mortars are just really useful to have uh, in most battles, attack and defense. It's a shame that we lost them, but it's what it is. Oh, wait. Did they not actually count the losses there? Hmm, strange. The unit that attacked us might die, actually. Because we did a lot of damage. Well, these guys completely out of fuel now. And it's our turn. Alright. Well... That was a successful defense. Let's see, where do we want to go now? We'll just start by moving these up. I'm going to go halfway and then we'll do the other like so. I'm bumping into some more stuff there. I think this one we're going to have try and get up towards the airfield. And if we can get rid of all of these aircraft then yeah, that would be great, because we won't have to worry about them anymore. <laughs> Look at all of these different units they have. They haven't really been using these at all. The only one they tend to use is this one, because they have... Like, all of the ground support weapons. Actually, I guess they've used this one a couple times, the Fighter Regiment 4 with the Blenheims. The support wing, though. That's just uh, annihilated. Okay, so we're going to dig in these guys. And... I'm going to have another unit that sort of starts to move round. Uh, this one's going to speed up all the way as far as possible. Because that's the one that's going to go to the edge of the map. But yeah, these ones in the meantime can sort of move up and block off these troops from moving around on top of us. Okay, that'll do. Let's see. 
These ones need to start heading down. And this one can get quite far up. Yep. So that's going to be heading towards the edge as well. I don't know if I need to have this one moving up. I think I might just move it through like so. I was hoping it would kind of cut across there, but went around the road. That's fine. Doesn't really make a difference. Uh, these can all just cut up, though. Uh, these two can stay here to destroy these two. I think I might leave a couple units behind to take out these ones. We'll move up the AT, but yeah, these can keep their distance and just be ready to kill off these fellas. All of these... And continue round, although I could, in theory, attack the third army corps. Might be might, might be an idea. Just to destroy those two units, because they're not that much of a threat. Then again, they will get encircled just like the rest of them. So it might be better to just kind of leave a unit here dug in. And then move the rest round. Okay, that will do. We we're holding them down here. We've got them surrounded here. We're pushing up towards their airfield quite nicely. The only attack that I need to make is on this bottom side. Okay, let's get on with this attack. It's going to be a breakthrough attack, which is actually relatively difficult for us to deal with. I think what I'm going to do, rather than using the 10th Rifle Division HQ, is we'll bring in the aircraft. So, probably just bombers, I reckon, would be the best, just to annihilate the bunkers. So probably the 943rd Assault Regiment would be best. Let's do it. Bring those over. Tactical Battle. Player control, and we'll jump on it. So if we break through the defences on this bottom side, then it's going to definitely make things a lot easier for us. But the best way for me to do this is kind of just run them down with infantry. So we'll probably just have my Strauki go first. And I'm going to do it like a human wave. We haven't done the human wave in a while. That'll be fun. Okay. They do tend to bunch up after the start, so it's fine. And yeah, then we can just bring in the bombers to hit anything that's in our way. Probably going to use these ones first, the ones with four 250 kilogram bombs. Mainly because they have probably more chance of killing the bunkers. Generally, I mean, I could hit them with like 500 kilogram bombs first and then hit them with the 250 kilogram bombs afterwards. That would probably get the kill in like two planes, but just to make it easier, I think I'm just going to grab loads of these first. Yeah, actually, saying that, now let's just do a couple of those and a couple of those. All right. I can push up to there, I can push up to there. I can push up to there. Spread these out a little bit though. Cool. So the key here is finding the bunkers and the trenches and all that kind of stuff so that we can get our bombs in the right place. Start getting up. Start getting our bombs in the right place at least. I might also bring up some mortars. We will have quite a few mortars to use. Well, at least get the 120s in. Because they can pin down the bunkers very quickly indeed. Okay. 
Okay, they got some troops coming towards us. It's fine, the Lati just got absolutely wrecked there. Most of my men are in heavy cover, so... Should be fine. As long as they're not like pioneery or something like that. Should be okay with this engagement. Right, let's just to get the supply in and we'll have a few recon units maybe. Spread out. I haven't really bumped into anything yet. Although saying that, the AT uh, units won't fire unless like there is something to fire at. So I need to be careful like unloading too far forwards. Because otherwise those AT bunkers will reveal themselves and then they'll kill my unit in the process. And that's obviously not something we want to happen. I kind of wish that I had some like ISUs. <laughs> the mortars are going to take care of that machine gun for us at least. They definitely do have fortifications. You can see the trenches and the barbed wire. Bob barbed wire here, some trenches outside the towns and so on. Okay. You can see I'm using one of each type to attack these bunkers. Hopefully we can kill them both in one run. The reason we need to kill the AT bunkers is because they do push the front line. In this case, that wasn't enough, so we'll just grab a couple more of these bombers and destroy those. Also, with bunkers, they waste our ammunition pretty hard. And we don't want, don't want that to happen. I might just drop some 500 kilogram bombs on top of the Kivari. You can see there that the bunker's gone. I hope that one's gone on the right hand side as well. Good old P2s, they're so fast. 500 kilogram bombs, very good for infantry, cleaning those up. Actually, going to make them fall back there as well. So this is a good example where units love to like waste their ammunition. I'm just going to give them an actual move order so they don't bother. We're going to want to get right next to this bunker, Maxim. Send a couple units through there to clean up whatever's being mortared. I'm going to leave a few of these behind. We'll keep most of them moving through. Alright, these are all in the open, so they're going to get absolutely annihilated. One Strauki down. That's the first of probably many in this attack. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I continue to push across the open here. We'll leave the Strauki that are low behind. Uh, these can just run on top of this bunker. Get rid of it. That needs to go back home. Alright. Bring in some more bombers just to wipe out the Kivari there. These ones can then push through and take the town. Uh, these can start falling back. We need a bomber to pin that down so that we can then just go and surrender it. Uh, these may as well start heading towards these buildings. And these lot can start heading through the forest on the left hand side there. Okay, so what we've got to do here is just keep firing at it. Do it pins it down and then we get the surrender. Shouldn't take too long. Nice, the mortars are going to be hitting that left side soon. Going to need a couple to go and take these buildings here. Definitely going to bomb the Kivos. They will do so much damage otherwise. The reason you want to get right next to them when you're trying to pin down the bunkers is because your units will use their submachine guns. And the submachine guns have like way more ammo than your machine guns do, your long range machine guns. Also at that range, probably going to like pin them a lot faster because you've got more weapons on target. Those, that's basically what we're doing here right now. Making sure that they can all fire their submachine guns and then it pins down the monk, bunker maximum nice and quick. Uh, these probably need to be in cover. Shouldn't really move them, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, let's move them back. Might keep them alive. Right, both of those can go away. Probably best to just bomb that town a little bit. That's fine. Let's keep going. Cleaned up that unit. Probably going to be a bunker of some sort up there. Ooh, that's not good. Right, let's start running away from that. Get the bombers to come in. And help out. Alright, we're going to need some more infantry. So let's start flooding in with more Straki. This time Straki DP. Because we've cleaned out a lot of the bunkers. Should be fine to just having them run all the way up. Okay. I'm going to have that run away. Might end up running into those units, but they'll, they should also be pinned down. Let's go bomb those Maxims in the buildings there, otherwise they're going to be pretty annoying to deal with. Get some more supply in for these mortars, which have been doing fantastic work so far. Casino you know, Strauki on the left. Need to surrender this bunker. Lovely. We'll get to the edge of the trees there. And the Sapari are actually pretty good for clearing bunkers because they can use their TNT to pin them down very quickly. Another Straki down. I think they're all like running out of ammunition, aren't they? <laughs> so <laughs> that's causing a little bit of a problem there. Right, one of them's thrown its grenade. There we go, job done. Move up. 
Ooh, let's unload these Thralki. Still an AT bunker there. Gonna get rid of that. Those can all carry on. I think we did lose quite a few Storaki there to like hidden AT guns. That's the AT gun dead. Right, there's another one there. Bomb that bunker into oblivion. Quite a lot of Storaki dying, but it's okay. Uh, these ones kind of running out of steam though. We're going to have to replace them. I could go for like abtos, honestly, through the trees there. Might not be too bad of an idea. We are also losing ground on that right hand side now. We'll move these back. They're kind of running out of steam a little bit here in the push. Gonna get these Sapurdi close enough to throw their grenades again. Be way quicker. Okay, cool. That's that cleaned up. Gonna be bringing in a bunch of these aircraft and we'll bomb the crap out of that bunker as well that's there. Oh no, they killed my supply vehicle. Damn. Okay, well, we're getting close to this town. That's three more flags there. Oh my, okay. I feel like I might have almost wasted those bombing strikes. Nice. Well, at least that pinned them down, that's good. Happy about that. Have these Avtos moving up on the left hand side. Alright, let's keep these moving up. I'll leave the one that's only on four health behind. We'll capture this one on the right. Minimum, I want a major victory out of this. So far, so good. Just need to clean out whatever's behind us. I'll keep the Strahki here. Left side's completely broken down. That's good. Our bombing strike's coming in shortly. Blow the crap out of them. Nice P2 fighter wings. Coming in, fighter bomber wings. These ones with the 250 kilogram bombs. Nice. Run them down. I think these are 500 kilogram bombs. Yeah. Doing a lot of damage there. Okay. Try and get into any buildings that are not destroyed, which isn't many. Gonna grab even more bombers. Alright, we're 
we're going to go bomb some of their artillery as well. And these are the ones with more bombs, right? Oh, okay, never mind. We already got the total victory. <laughs> 18 minutes, 18 seconds. Uh, 53 kills, 15 losses. 15 losses is not bad at all, actually. We lost quite a few Strauki for sure, but totally worth it. Damn, that was that was actually pretty smooth. Okay, and apparently some of them survived. I don't know what's going on with the losses there, but yeah, this is really good. Hopefully that just destroys that unit. Yep, good stuff. And now we can start happily moving up the coast uh, and just take as much land as we can. Awesome. Unfortunately, guys, though, it has been my time, so I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, we might be destroying all of their aircraft at the airfield, and we might be capturing this objective. Certainly in a pretty good position right here. <laughs> it won't be long until we surround all of the Finnish forces and destroy them. We're going to have to keep ahead of these forces that are running after us. <laughs> That's funny. Keep front pushing that front line forwards. <laughs> I'm just going to do that now before I forget. Okay. There we go. But yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.